One of President Trump's cabinet picks has withdrawn his nomination. This comes as the president blasted the media today for his coverage of his former national security advisor. CBS News' Dick Brennan here now with more. Dick. Maurice and Christine, sources tell CBS News that Andrew Puzzler, the fast food executive, the former fast food executive, took his name out of contention for labor secretary. It appears that his support among Republicans was eroding. Andrew Puzder had been set to be grilled on Capitol Hill tomorrow over his nomination to be Labor Secretary, but a source says he's tired of the abuse and has dropped out. Democrats have attacked Puzder for his positions on labor issues, as well as the fact that he employed an undocumented housekeeper. He's been successful in making money, but he has put profits ahead of people. And his actions are disqualifiers for this position. Meantime, at a joint news conference at the White House with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, President Trump defended his ousted national security advisor, Michael Flynn. Flynn was fired for misleading the vice president about conversations on sanctions with the Russian ambassador before he took office. General Flynn is a wonderful man. I think he's been treated very, very unfairly by the media. Um, as I call it, the fake media in many cases. But Democrats want a full investigation into Flynn and Russian connections with the Trump campaign. Every hour that goes by, more and more questions are raised. Every White House press briefing and early morning tweet seemingly introduces new inconsistencies and contradictions that demand a full accounting. Today, a New York Times report said Trump campaign aides had repeated contacts with Russian intelligence officials in the year before the election. The president did not address that issue, but made it clear he's disgusted by leaks. From intelligence, uh, papers are being leaked, things are being leaked. It's criminal action, criminal act. People are trying to cover up for a terrible loss that the Democrats had under Hillary Clinton. As far as cabinet withdrawals, not terribly unusual. Presidents Obama, Bush, and Clinton all had multiple withdrawals. In the meantime, we can tell you the U.S. Coast Guard is tracking a Russian spy ship 30 miles off the coast of Groton, Connecticut. Some are calling it an aggressive move by Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, but some military analysts say it's little threat to security. It's expected to turn around and head south towards Cuba. Another thing that the U.S. Coast Guard has to keep track of. You bet. Thank you.